And if you don't bloom, you are going in the trash, going in the trash, going in the trash. Hey guys, it's me Astrid, and guess what hasn't happened in a long time and totes needs to. It's time for a motherfucking orchid haul. Okay, so first I need to start this video with the reason that I look sweaty and haggard right now because I did something so stupid that I think all of you really need to hear it. Earlier today, I was in the shower and I was waiting for a package to arrive um, from UPS with my Glam Glow Duo moisturizer. Uh, that shit smells like an orange creamsicle, first of all. Second of all, makes your skin feel like a baby's ass. And I've been waiting eagerly for it, and I messed up my address, so they couldn't get it to me yesterday. I waited today, we stayed home, and then I missed it. Because apparently you can't hear my doorbell ring when we're in the shower, even though it's like very loud, it's a doorbell, and I live in a tiny apartment, you think you could hear it. So when I got out of the shower, I said, Ben, Ben, come here, I need you to help me. He turns on the shower, He go, I go out and ring the doorbell. Ben's like, are you going to ring the doorbell or what? I said, huh? I rang it. Ah, oh, I didn't hear it. So I go to the bathroom and I go to prove to myself that you can't hear it from in there. Because we have the shower running, we turned the shower on so we could see if it was the same. Well, I don't hear it in the bathroom either. We've been trying to get out of the house for a while, so what do I do? I put my shoes on, grab my bag, we go out the door. I forgot to turn the shower off. And we left at 1, and we just got home at like 9. So my shower's been running for 8 hours. My landlord's probably going to be like, what the fuck, Astrid? What are you doing? And my house was like at 60% humidity. My plant grow lights came on, so the house is 90 degrees, 60% humidity. It's really good news if you're an orchid. It's really bad news if you're this dumb idiot. Dunce cap right here is what I need to wear. Anyway, let's get on with this haul. So first of all, I'm really excited, and hey Fred, I know I fangirl over you. Guys, I fangirl over Fred Clark because I love him so much and he's so cute and awesome. Uh, but yeah, Fred came and gave a talk on Catacetum Culture at my Orchid Society tonight, and it was wonderful. And because he came to my Orchid Society, I placed a pre-order. Yeah. Okay, but let's get started on the plants. So first, let's start with like the less cool, non-amazing plants. I'm just kidding, they're all amazing the, um, the non-catacetinae type plants. So first thing, I got um, Cattleya Poseidon Lake, that's this guy. It's a really healthy plant. Um, you can see it's got ceruleas in its uh, parentage. I'm really excited to see it bloom. Some of the blooms on this have been green with like this purple lip, and I'm sorry to every orchid grower, but the lip is fucking purple. It's not blue. I digress. It is got gorgeous parents so I'm really looking forward to see how this blooms and apparently it has already bloomed. That's exciting. Next, Fred brought a bunch of plants. So he brought this one which is uh, Layla Catlia Pink Treasure cross Lalo Finkiniana. Uh, I'll hold up the tag here so y'all can see that. And look at this plant though. It has got some like fat little healthy bulbs like I hope I do it justice and keep growing it like this because this is like a very bulby awesome plant and I'm hoping I'm hoping that this little thing down in here is a sheath that blooms crossing fingers it's supposed to be pink I'm really excited I love pink orchids a lot so here's to hoping on that one next we have a dendrobium that has Oh, just an ugly little growth habit. Uh, a lot of the Australian dendrobiums that Fred sells have this these like nice, fat, compact little canes. And then I look and I see this one that I ordered, and these canes are so skinny and they're so stringy, and they're they're, they're a lot less pretty than the other like all the other Aussie dens that Fred sells. But that doesn't matter because the blooms are going to be probably orange. Here's the tag. It's Den Aussie Parade Carrot Splash cross Den uh, Fleckeri SVO. So this one 
is supposed to be orange. I think it's kind of in the uh, Aussie Den category, so it's going to need a cold winter rest. And I'm terrified that it's going to get real tall, but I'm just going to live with my life and my decisions. It actually looks like it had one nasty little dried up flower left on it from last season. So I think this is definitely blooming size. Ooh, look at this. What's this? What's that? I'm excited about this, even though the growth habit isn't as pretty as other orchids I've seen. On to the stars of my orchid world, the catacetums. So I got this cross. This is Clausia Rebecca Northern Grapefruit Pink Cross Catacetum Milana Davison Bombshell. Uh, I ordered this in a pre-order, but Fred also had one, had a few out on the table tonight. So I actually got two of these, and the given the the parentage, I per, I believe the flowers are gonna, like catacetum flowers are always really really variable in how they bloom, and in seedlings. So I wanted to get both of them. Let's see which is the other one. Yeah, so I got two of these. And I think this is going to be a really nice cross, and I'm really excited to see how it blooms, and I hope they bloom this winter. It's also really nice to have some fresh catacetums in my collection that were not ravaged by thrips, so it, hopefully they'll bloom this winter, and if they don't, they'll bloom next year. Uh, the next thing we got is uh, Cycnodes Spotted Hornet. So we've got that here. It is a pretty badass baller plant. Like look at the, just the leaf density on this. Like Cycnodes are really, really cool for that. Um, this little growth is like so active and it, I mean, it just, this just looks vigorous and healthy, doesn't it? I just want to, I just want to bite it. But I won't bite it because that's not good. It's not good for your orchids if you bite them. Finally, in this haul, we've got Clausia Grace Dunn Chad's Ford Cross Catacetum Orchid Glade Davy Ranches. Fred went a little crazy with the Davy Ranches in his breeding in the last few years, and I'm not even mad about it because the Davy Ranches is cray cray. It is so good. Um, yeah, and look at how fat this plant is. I mean, really, look at like all of these plants they're all incredibly healthy um fred clark practices like extremely precise and and good strict hygiene regimens with his plants so i mean walking through his greenhouse it's like very clean um the plants are so healthy they're all in good shape and i absolutely recommend if you want a really cool uh, Cattleya hybrid, Aussie Den hybrid, you want a Sarcochylus, you want Catacetums, or you want Paths or Frags, Fred is a really, really good vendor for that. Not to mention, he's a really nice, cool, funny guy. Hi, Fred! And, uh, yeah, I am very, very happy with this. And you guys can look forward to a couple more videos with some orchid hauls in the future because your girl went a little crazy recently. I came kind of out of a funk and now I started buying orchids again. <laughs> I'm like, Ben, I'm not telling you how much I spent. Mm. So uh, with all that said and done, I am going to open my house back up so I can cool it off thanks to my stupidity. And I'm going to wish all of you guys a wonderful night. Thank you so much for watching and happy growing. Bye.